application. Watch this. This is a reaction video. Let's listen. Yeah, as you had um, uh, on that uh, video, uh, a reaction video from the Anambra State Government, that um, the schools in Anambra State from the nursery, primary, junior, secondary to senior secondary is free. Before now, the public or uh, uh, government owned schools uh, is only to the junior secondary that is free. But the senior secondary, you have to pay for it. But Soludo, uh, as you know, was a teacher, or still a teacher, would I say wanted to change the, to bring about a paradigm change in the educational industry of Anambra State. People don't know that you can actually use education to change the economy of your state or country. If you go to UK, you will understand the importance of education, the education industry. It's a huge industry bringing huge revenue or huge political and economic goodwill to United Kingdom. So Soludo doing this is like a masterstroke. And remember in this channel, we do acknowledge when somebody do the right thing. But what they also need to do is also to check the corrupt practices of teachers that are still taking some money from the pupils and students or children sent to the government schools. Um, uh, one guy was telling me about uh, that um, his uh, child goes to one school that's supposed to be government, supposed to be free, but Sometimes the teachers is demanding, bring this, bring that, bring this, bring that. So, and another thing is also the lack of, uh, uh, lack of schools everywhere in the state. I mean the government schools which are free. In some areas, they have to travel five kilometers away or more to get a government school. In Onicha, greater region, people living in Uguaba, Uboro, Uboro, Obosi, Mbor area lack those schools enough. In Trey the same problem, and many other places around the Onicha greater region. In other areas, there are few government schools. So they should look at a or expanding some of those schools or 
they can also just expand in the area and use public transport, have a dedicated transport to be bringing all those students to come there to study. It's very, very important and it's very, very vital for us to change. I think Enugu State is trying to implement that, but I don't know how far they have gone on that. But I do believe if Soludo can actually fully implement this qualitative that can compete with private schools and mission schools, I do believe that he will totally change the state for good. And that's why we're here talking about. And that's why we're discussing. And I hope and I believe that he will bring a total turnaround of the state through education. I don't know what's your view on this. Remember to like, remember to comment, remember to share, and remember to subscribe to this channel. I am still Cordelay NYE, the son of the wonderful. See you in the next one, and God bless you. Bye.